Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, September the 15th, 2017, and this is episode 2600. My name is Bruce Turner. I bid you greetings from our home here in Lynchburg, Virginia, where fall is getting closer and closer. (laughs) Today's podcast is titled, Nidar. That's right. Nidar. So what in the world is Nidar? Well, let me introduce it this way. We're all familiar with radar, right? Now, I was an aviation electronics technician and My focus when I was in the Navy at that rate was called an ATR. I focused especially on navigation and radar gear on uh, jet aircraft, especially uh, Navy uh, fighter jets and so forth. And if you've been following the hurricanes, as all of you have, you're very familiar with the importance and value of radar. Now, what is radar? Well, dictionary definition, radar is a system for detecting the presence, direction, distance, and speed of aircraft, ships, and other objects by sending out pulses of high-frequency electromagnetic waves that are reflected off the object back to the source. So, while we're familiar with radar, let me introduce a new word that I just created this morning. This is breaking news. Are you ready? Nidar. How's your Nidar? Are your antennas up? Are your dishes spinning? Do you see the needs around you? Do you recognize the opportunities to be a blessing to someone else today? Or are you too self-absorbed, too busy, too preoccupied to notice, or worse, You notice, but walk away. It's a natural reaction to want to help someone when you see that they're struggling with what life has given them. We see someone slumping through the store or crying in the break room. Perhaps we might even know exactly why they're struggling. And there is in that innate desire to want to help them. God has designed us to want to help others who are in trouble. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 27 and 28 says, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do it. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back and tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you now. In James chapter 2, verses 15 and 16, we read, If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? Paul gives us this great admonition in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 10 where he says, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to the family of faith. It's been interesting and it's been a blessing for me to see friends who gradually get their power restored and they're posting on Facebook, I've got air conditioning, I've got water, I've got a washing machine, come here, cool off, charge your batteries. And they're, they, they see opportunities to be a blessing to somebody out of what was previously their own need. There are needs around you. So I've come up with this word, needar. I want you to share this podcast today because I want people to begin to think about this. No, I'm not just interested in getting a new word in the dictionary because that will not happen, of course. 
But I want people to think about this opportunity, this principle of being aware, having your antennas up and your dishes spinning when you leave today to go to work, when you're at work, when you're at school, look around you. Now you can't meet every need and some of the needs you don't have the resources to meet, but you're going to find opportunities to meet somebody's need today. And I want to tell you, let me just remind you what Jesus said, because it's, it's wonderfully and powerfully true. It is more blessed to give than to receive. So get your need up today, won't you? And look for opportunities to be a blessing to someone else. Oh, Father, thank you so much that you saw our need and you showed us grace. Lord, help us to have eyes to see, ears to hear the needs that are around us today and help us to move with obedience and passion to meet those needs. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website, morningmana.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Be sure to like and subscribe. Share this podcast with others you know. Let's spread the word. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.